y'all welcome back to diy with me i'm so happy you're here today i always say that but i'm always happy that you're here today i'm going to show you a really cute and unique way that you can actually up level your flower arrangements using a just a simple vase this is a vase that we had left over for my daughter's wedding um i found these at the dollar tree as you see they're um blue inside but i painted them like a uh i spray painted them like a gray color because I just think gray would make it pop a little bit more. Um, some ribbon, scissors. This is from another craft, so I need to put that up so I don't use those again. Um, scissors. I have my scissors right here. And I want to talk about a minute this beautiful, beautiful flower from Brooks Flower Farm. I'm going to zoom up so you guys can see what they look like. I get weekly deliveries from them as part of their, um, it's not compete, it's not CSA, it's not com community supported agriculture, but it is, but it's called their weekly flower subscription. And so I get weekly flowers from them. They're a local farm here in Goldsboro. Um, here is their logo right here, but I get flowers from them starting, it started February 22nd and I'll get it all through October. Um, and it's just something that I believe, I love fresh flowers. Fresh flowers are one of the main things that I absolutely adore and love. And I just feel like it just brightens up everything. And uh, plus two, when you're supporting local, it makes it even better. So please, if you can support your local farmers, that's my PSA for right now. So the first thing you're going to do is I'm just going to set these aside. I'm going to bring this back and I'm going to zoom back in a little bit so you guys can see and pan down so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing you're going to do is, is you're going to have your um, vase full of water. I went ahead and put water in the vase. Next thing, guys, this is so super simple and easy. You're just going to take, because it's indentation here, you're just going to take your bunnies and you are just going to place the thing of water inside your bunnies. So kind of make it like this. So it's kind of you can see it, but you can't see it. It's okay because some of the bunnies do have stuffing on it. If you want to make colored water, 100%, you could do that. Next thing you're going to do is, remember my little trick about the tape? Find where the tape is. And you are going to pull that off and stick it to the side of your table. And you are just going to tie these together. Now, you could hot glue, but I want to be able to use this face again after um, the holidays. So I chose not to hot glue it and I'm just going to like eyeball where the ribbon is. And you see, I've used this ribbon multiple times and I still have a little bit more left. So it's okay when you're using um, crafts to have some extra so you can always use it for another project. And now because I cannot tie backwards, I'm going to have to turn around and flip this around for me and tie I wish I could tie backwards. And the reason why I left it longer, because I want my bow to be big and floppy, like the ears on a bunny. You can always come back and add something else to it. But I just think this is a really neat way to up-level something that you get, you can get at the dollar store and make it into something so cute that you want to use over and over again for your holiday. So I'm just tying my ribbon and I'm going to keep, I'm going to see if this one will curl like that. I'm probably going to cut a little bit off right here, but I like the way this one's kind of laying. So I'm just going to make it so that this one's a little bit even. And this one is not laying right, so I don't know what's going on with it. Let's see if I can twist it or curl it a little bit. But all, you, all you see I did was kind of make a ribbon. So there we go. We just tied a ribbon on it and he's got a ribbon on him. Or she's got a ribbon on it. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to place your flowers. Now, I will say that it'd be really handy, and I don't have it, but I do have my trash can. So I'm going to pull my trash can up, and I'm going to put it in my chair behind me so that I can just pull and toss, pull and toss. Now, I'm not going to be using all the flowers off this particular, off this particular CSA, but I do know that I want to use all the colors and I want to use the greenery because I think it'll make it pop. But because this vase opening is a little bit smaller, I have to be 
strategic in what I use. Also, too, if you have flowers that are a little bit, um, that will hit the water level, then you need to take those off as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with my purple, beautiful purple flowers. And I'm just going to take some and I'm just going to place them in the water to see how they place. They kind of look pretty. They kind of look pretty just sitting up there. So I think I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go back and add a little bit of oh, tulips are my absolute favorite. So I know I want a couple of tulips up here. They're my absolute favorite. Matter of fact, I love that they're in season right now. And I know that my moms are going to be coming up pretty soon. And we're going to dig those up and bring them and transplant them over to my house. So I have something outside the blog cabin that reminds me of my mom. My mom was a huge gardener. So now we're almost to the point where we're almost filled. But I do want to add a yellow and I do want to add some of the greenery in. So I think I'm just going to pick out the best yellow one in here or the best two because there's two different colors. So I'm going to pick out this one and then a lighter one to go in the bunny. So I'm just slowly but surely just threading them in. You can work with your arrangement after you get them in. That was a little bit high. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to add some greenery. Now you notice I haven't cut anything off because none of the, none of the, that has leaves on it that I can cut off. Now I'm going to add the greenery just to kind of, the greenery is more filler for stuff. So it's like when we get our CSA, when I get my CSA, I know it's just my filler. And I know these, these pieces right here are going to hit below the waterline. So I'm just going to pull those off. And just slowly but surely move them in here and add the filler to it. So it just kind of makes it fill in the, the spots a little bit for your bouquet. And now what I'm going to do, since I'm working on it backwards, I'm going to kind of look around and see if there's any, any things I need to reposition before I add anything else. I'm going to add this yellow one to the front. And I'm going to take this one tulip right here, if I can, and pull it out. Oop, I'm taking the yellow one with it. And I'm just going to place it over here to the side with this purple. And I'm going to take the purple and I'll place this right here so it comes off the side a little bit. So it's kind of like popping a little bit more. And it comes out of the ear. Then I know, I see I'm missing something right here. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's greenery. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to see, um, get another piece of greenery and go ahead and strip the leaves, which goes in my trash can. I always have a trash bag with you though, um, when you're working with flowers because it's easier to kind of maneuver them around. And because this one had multiple leaves on it, I'm just going to come back and mold and just kind of make them so that they're standing out. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, let's see. I have the blue. Oh, I think I'm going to switch this yellow and this pink one together so it kind of breaks it up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. And then my purple ones are going to come back out. And y'all, these... And I still have enough to do another flower arrangement, but I want to show you, I'm going to actually kind of zoom out. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see it. And let's see, we're going to do it this way. No, this way. Hold on. And then we're going to go down a little bit. Okay. All right. So I still haven't got the hang of this yet, but y'all look at this. Look at this cute little flower display. I'm going to actually hold it up. I'm going to remove, um, I'm going to put myself as a solo layout so you guys can see it and look at this cute flower display made from CSA flowers. Look how up, look how up level it is. This piece right here is hanging off. I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm going to work on it and fix it because it's just hanging. It is it's hanging out. Here we go. Here we go. And all we did was take something from the Dollar Tree, make it into a bunny, and painted it. it I could have kept it blue, put it around a vase, and put some flowers in it. 
You can use artificial flowers if you want. But y'all, look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. It is adorable. And it took us less than 10 minutes. It's something that you can up-level your flowers that you get or your even your artificial flowers. You can up-level and, and make it something even better. So until next time, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, support your local farmers. Um, I will put, if you are local to Goldsboro, I will put the information for Brooks Fresh Cut Flower Farm on there um, as well. And guys, have a blessed day. Bye.